The United States is considering sending Ukraine medium-range guided bombs for F-16s as part of a $375 million military aid package in the works. Politico reports the bombs known as the Joint Standoff Weapon are already in use by the U.S. Air Force, Navy and allies and are capable of striking targets more than 130 kilometers away in ideal conditions with the ability to use a 225 kilogram unitary or cluster warhead. This would give Ukraine an additional advantage in its ability to strike Russian forces. The package, which is still being finalized, will also include artillery ammunition, rockets and air defense missiles, according to two U.S. officials and a person familiar with the matter. The people were granted anonymity to discuss the package ahead of the announcement and acknowledged that its contents could still change before the official announcement. The $375 million would be the largest package the U.S. has sent to Ukraine since May and could be the president's final arms cuts before the end of the fiscal year on September the 30th. Under authority granted by Congress, the U.S. is removing existing weapons from its stockpile, with the money earmarked for replacement ammunition and equipment. The new missiles, while not having the range Kyiv has asked for, will still give Ukrainian pilots a powerful new weapon as their forces battle advancing Russian forces in the east of the country, where Ukrainian forces are slowly losing ground. With a range of more than 130 kilometers, the missiles will allow pilots to stay farther from the front lines and Russian air defenses, giving Kyiv a new way to attack those defenses and weapons depots on the front lines, complicating operations for Russian forces. The article says, U.S. defense giant Lockheed Martin has revealed details of its new AGM-158 Jassim cruise missile, which is expected to have a longer range than even the 900-kilometer Jassim ER. Lockheed Martin has demonstrated a project to create a new version of the AGM-158 Jassim cruise missile, which should have the greatest range while retaining the standard 450-kilogram warhead. The Ukrainian military advanced in the Kursk region. At the same time, Russian invaders press along the line Kupiansk, Svetovo, Kremenea, within Toritsk, near Pokrovsk, and the advance of the enemy near Gulyapolum is recorded. This is reported by ISW. It is reported that on September 18, Ukrainian forces continued their assault on the Glushkov district of the Kursk region. On September 18, Russian sources, including the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation, said that the Russian army allegedly repelled the attacks of the Ukrainian army near the Mary, Medvezhai, and Novi Puti. Ukrainian troops recently expanded their bridgehead in the Kursk region. Geolocation footage from September 17 shows that the army advanced to the east of Krasno October. On September 17, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation announced that Ukrainian troops attacked southeastern Koronevo in the region of Obakovka and Lubomovka, as well as northwestern Sudza in the region of Maloy Lokny. Geolocation footage, published on September 17 and 18, show that Russian troops have recently moved eastward along two forested areas southeast of Koronevo and south of Obakovka. On September 18, the Russian soldiers said that the Russian army had advanced to the south of Durovka and along the Koronevoshep to Kafka Safanovka Highway. Also, Russian bloggers claimed on September 16 and 17 that Putin's troops advanced in the area of Algovka and Uspanovka. On September 18, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation announced that the Russian troops were conducting offensive actions to the southeast of Koronevo in the area of Nikolivo Dorino, Dorino, Lubomovka, Tolstoy Lug, and southeast of Sudza in the area of Plekovogo. Geolocation footage, published on September 18, shows that the Russian army recently carried out a mechanized assault on Ukrainian positions in the southeastern part of Koronevo. The representative of the Kharkiv Regional Military Administration, Alexei Dmitrashkovsky, told AFP on September 18 that Ukrainian troops stopped the counteroffensive of the Russian Federation in the Kursk region and stabilized the situation.